are weakly attracted by a magnetic field. They are magnetized in a magnetic field in the same direction. They lost their magnetism in the absence of magnetic field. So paramagnetism is due to the presence of one or more unpaired electrons, which are attracted by the magnetic fields oxygen, Cu2+, Fe3+, and chromium3+, Cr3+, are typical examples of such substances. Diamagnetism Diamagnetic substances are weakly repelled by a magnetic field. Hydrogen, benzene are typical examples of such substance. They are weakly magnetized in a magnetic field in opposite direction. Diamagnetism is shown by those substances in which all the electrons are paired and they don't have any unpaired electrons. Pairing of electrons cancel their magnetic moments and they lost their magnetic characteristics. I am trying to take the bismuth metal here and it is placed in the magnetic field and I am trying to show you how the diamagnetization is working. Here is the practical example of uh, the bismuth metal which is having a diamagnetization property. Diamagnetization is the weakly magnetized material and you are able to see due to the equal force, the magnetic force, you are able to see it's in the center. This is the typical example for diamagnetization. Here is the bismuth material. You are able to see it's not aligned in a particular direction and it starts rotating automatically due to variation in the magnetic field. Ah, it's different, right?